hinted that the old Sly Fox had discovered a potential weakness in the master locks modifications to our favorite American locks. And that's what I like to try to demonstrate here. Here I have four different ones. This is a military one. You can see it's got the older logo. And in fact, when you flip it over and decode it, this one was made in uh, June of 1986. Now, on all locks, uh, at least all American locks, they've always had this drain hole right here. And that's because when this is used outside and it's in the rain, water's going to drain down between the shackle and the body and get down inside of here. And there's a spring in there that causes the shackle to spring up when you release the locking mechanism. And that little hole just allowed the water to drain out. You don't want that spring getting corroded and rusted. So that's, that's why they did that. I've bought a lot of these locks off of eBay and that have been used outside. So when I try to disassemble them, there's also water can drain down this side of the lock as well. It gets stuck up in the, in the body here, but there's nothing really there. There's a screw head down inside of here that sometimes got rusted. It was difficult to take out, but uh, other than that, it didn't present any big problem. But Master Lock decided to, to do something about it anyway. So now we, hear, we see a lock made in uh, February of 97 to do the decoding. It has the original drain hole on the spring side, and they've also put a hole here to allow the water to drain out of this side so that screw doesn't rust and doesn't isn't too hard. They even modified the military version. That's this, These are both military locks. So at some point they modified the military one and put that hole in as well. And even on all of the other models too. This one was made uh, well, June 14, and we got the weird little hole right there. Why am I wasting your time telling you about this? Well, D.O.L. Sly Fox has said that that hole is a significant weakness in the design. It was a poor decision to put that lock, that hole right there, because really it compromises or potentially compromises the lock and makes it easier for people to get in. Now, I could tell you the secret right now, but I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'm going to take this lock, let's go ahead and put it on the milling machine, and I'm going to mill it out, and I'm going to let you see exactly why D.O.L. Sly Fox thinks that this hole, uh, from a security standpoint, is a really, really bad idea. All right, we're back. I went ahead and milled away the side of that. You can see all of the innards. You see the ball bearing locking mechanism here, and you can see the screw that holds that bottom plate on it, exposes it, and that's kind of what this hole is all about. Because if we decide we want to defeat this lock by using this very conveniently provided pilot hole, we take a drill, larger than this one, say a quarter inch drill, but I'm just showing this to show you that that hole is perfectly, and I mean perfectly aligned with the center of that screw head. And that screw is not hardened steel, it's a fairly soft steel. So if we take a quarter inch drill, use this as a pilot hole, and drill it through here, we can knock off the head of that screw and all of the guts will fall out of this lock and we've defeated it in about two minutes on this aluminum body lock. So does it work? Well, here's one we've already drilled. In fact, um, uh, D.O. Sly Fox sent this to me, and when he drilled the head off, give it a little tap, and all of the guts do indeed fall right out. Unbelievable. What kind of designers would give you a perfectly aligned pilot hole to defeat their product? Only Master Lock. Guys, only Master Lock. So if you don't have the key, or if your customers lost their keys, and you can't pick it for whatever reason, maybe there's some somebody put crazy glue or something up inside of there, this is a real quick and easy way to defeat American locks. Just drill right through that pilot hole, drill off that screw head, and bam, you are in. Thank you, Master Lock. Appreciate it, guys. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal. The old Sly Fox, thanks for pointing out this very obvious weakness. Maybe Master Lock will pay attention.